Yo, welcome. This is the demo for the Metzan Electro Smog. Here's the final device. So what we have is a very bare bones construction PCB board uh, on the top, on the bottom. Here we have a recycled acrylic plate for the to protect the solder points from short circuiting. Um, the device is now connected with the line out which is here in the back. Stereo line out to the uh, digital recorder. I have headphones on for monitoring and my voice goes through the phone. Phone also does only record mono sound so I had to do this. Uh, in this device it is an electromagnetic field or EMF scanner or as I have been calling it as well translator because it translates the electromagnetic fields that surrounds us in our everyday life into acoustic signals, stereo spatial acoustic signals. Here in the front in these little horns they are here for protection are pickup coils uh, and they generate a stereo signal. Um, also in the front is a input for whatever experiments you do if you plug something in for example longer cables with coils in the end then this is a switching uh, socket these two get disabled and whatever is in the front on the cable will be actively uh, amplified by the high-end op-amp in this device. It's powered by a 9 volt block battery which can be exchanged by just taking off the uh, connector here, loosening the screws a bit and then pushing it out uh, we have an on-off switch and the volume control. Volume control works uh, just for some fine-tuning. Uh, I think the loudest signal is pretty good for headphones and uh, with the recorder I just saw it's quite heavy so either on the recorder or here we can adjust it. Uh, on-off switch also uh, and now I will switch on the recorder. Uh, the on-off switch is also indicated here. Maybe uh, it's still visible. It's blue, three little dots. Uh, it's a UV light. And now we can hear it already. The light I have just in front here is a energy saving lamp and the signal is getting picked up depending on how I hold the device it is moving in the stereo field well the lamp is now not in the image now I get much closer move around Then I will make some kind of some kind of recordings uh, without uh, uh, tripod here. This just to give you an idea of the sensitivity and the spatial features. I think the recorder itself does something. Yes. It's also emitting electromagnetic waves. Here you can already hear it's quite different. Higher pitches. Transformers are lower in pitch often, not always. And all these digital devices have usually some rhythmical things. And depending on what it is, like a mobile phone for example, 
uh, which I have here because I recorded also now it's the lamp but let's go to the mobile phone I think the data connection is now switched off so it's just a mobile phone recording this and whatever it's sending and as you can see there's a LED here we can see the LED is like a UV lamp it kind of shines light on whatever it's scanning the trackpad. Nice. There would be the hard drive. Power input. And here's the also the power supply. Different. Yeah. Here's the power power supply for my electronic things it's a bit more the phone charger there's another phone you can hear it pinging out not doing anything So, oh, thanks for listening. Electrosmog is available now. Spend your money on this and discover sound environments that maybe you didn't know were there, but they are. They sound nice. They fuck you up or not. <laughs>